Uh, welcome back to another video, my body. And this is a pretty fun review. This one, this is the dinosaur wall chart and illustrated history of the age of reptiles. This is from 1991. And look at the back there. Like it's kind of like looks like kind of like pencil kind of drawings. Got a few dinosaurs that are showcased in the in the in this chart or book chart. Obviously, it's catered for kids. But this was a really nice find at the thrift, and this whole thing you'll see at the end opens up into a massive chart, which is about three meters long. So every page you're gonna see. It all kind of opens up. So anyway, um, sorry for the lighting. It's a bit hard to to fit everything in the frame. So as I said, it's from 91. Illustrations from Ray Burroughs and Norma Bergen. And they're the pale artists, I guess. And no copyright attended. All that work belongs to the owners and from Dr. Angela Malna Ray Burrows. So the giant dinosaur wall chart. I've got a glossary there. And as I said, it all opens up. It's all connecting. So, but we'll look at it in book form first. And we start off here with the Triassic. And I really like at the bottom of this whole book, it's a continuation of like a, of a landscape with all our species. Um, got our, yeah, all the groups that were from the Triassic, the early groups, you know, the pros, paras, what's it, pro, um, prosauropods, and you got like, you got your famous, um, Platosaurus and so forth, a lot of different species here, which I really like, and you, you know, it describes a bit of history and stuff as well, and you know, all sorts of things, and you got the you know the family tree and obviously this book is not um accurate so we've got triassic and then we go just make sure we don't skip anything yeah. to the early jurassic so yeah it's as i was saying um obviously not completely accurate these days a lot of things have changed but you know obviously some things are still valid and and it's always good to go back and see how we thought things were back then. So we've got a lot of our famous um, Jurassic species here, like Stegosaurus. We've even got Kentrosaurus. And, you know, we've got some marine reptiles and some pterosaurs. And, yeah, our famous sauropods, Megalosaurus, Allosaurus, so forth. Then we get into the late, late Jurassic and early Cretaceous. And again, I like how this all blends in, you know, the landscape. And yeah, we got Tungulungosaurus. And yeah, some really cool dinosaurs. And we've got Iguanodon and Baryonyx. I remember in the early 90s, that's when Baryonyx started becoming popular. Either prior to that, I never really heard about it. And yeah, we've had so many more discoveries since then. And now we branch off to what well, should be the early to mid, I think, Cretaceous. And we've got some cool um, dinos there. Look at that Spinosaurus. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously completely inaccurate, but... I love it. We've got Carnotosaurus. That's I remember Carnotosaurus was getting popular in those early 90s as well. And yeah, this artwork's a little bit like John Sibic's work, isn't it? Really, really cool. The vintage looking Styracosaurus there as well. And yeah, it is. Yeah, a lot of this artwork does copy John Sibic to a certain extent. Anyway. Yeah, we'll see we've got some prehistoric birds and so forth and then we get to the Lake Cretaceous. Got a nice nice scene there. What's that? Is that a Tabasaurus, I think? It's either 
Yeah, is it Google Source or Tablet Source? I think it's Tablet Source. Google Source is there. It's having a snack. We've got T Rex and all our um, look, Donosaurus before. Or, no, sorry, yeah, Donosaurus or Therizinosaurus back in the day before they. You know, knew exactly what the creature looked like. I remember seeing those images in different books and scaring me like, geez, imagine this thing. So it's always good to look back and see how things were back then and the discoveries that we've made ever since. So, and that comes to an end of that. So I'll open it all up and we'll have a look at it in its chart form and that's probably the best way to experience this amazing um, so i've got the wall chart book. all laid out it's so huge it's probably like three meters long i apologize for the glare but yeah i just wanted to show it all opened up and how it looks as it continues on from the tri triassic to Jurassic to the Cretaceous I would have been stoked to have this as a kid I really think this is an amazing chart it's huge a lot of species on there it was a really good find at the at the thrift store so as we get closer to the end here at the late Cretaceous I hope you all enjoyed this review and please comment below if um, you actually owned this one as a as a kid back in the day. Thanks for watching, everybody.